This week's episode, can you hear me? But was it worth hearing at all? So full on right now, I'm going to put it out there. I enjoyed this episode. I thought it was a really good episode this week. After having a few weeks of stories that I thought weren't too good, it was great to have this week's story be such a fun episode. This week's episode actually had a scene before the titles, which you don't actually realize how much you miss. But hey, this opening scene was awesome. It was action packed, it was intense. I liked it. With the first look at the monsters this week, we got a hand and I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a Sylvain hand and I was kind of disappointed when it wasn't. I'm going to jump in and mention that this story was a really, really great story for character development. I liked that we got to see each companion's little story throughout the episode. This was a great way to build strength in each companion and it gave us a lot more character development. This idea also gave each companion something to do, which was great, I loved that. I also liked that we got to see Jodie by herself. This was also another great way to develop her doctor. I also liked that we got to see her doctor trying to get used to being alone. It was a nice little comedic moment when she was explaining where they were, what they were doing, and then turned around and there was no companions. I thought that was quite funny. So as I've mentioned in the past few episodes of Who Review, Yaz has been pretty useless and pretty boring in the last few episodes of Doctor Who. But this episode was completely different. Yaz had something to do. We found out a lot about Yaz this episode. Um, we got to see a little bit of her family again, um, especially the ending, which I'll get to soon. Um, this episode really helped Yaz develop as a character. We got this really cool, creepy, mysterious, dark new villain named Zeelan. Or was it Zaylan? I don't know, I'm going to stick with Zeelan. He was really, really strange, but cool. The thing with the fingers was creepy and just a bit weird. He was quite cool, although I think he would have made a much, much better main series villain, like over a story arc or something, but he was great. Graham's worst fear was having his cancer return, which I found to be a really, really sad element to the episode. And it was great to see Grace again, even if it was not in a very good form. I also liked that there was a little mention to the toy maker from Classic Doctor Who. Great story to watch, by the way, if you haven't watched it. And we got a closer look at the timeless child. Sort of, not really. But I do like that the doctor's fear was the timeless child. It kind of gives the idea that this timeless child stuff is really serious. The monsters were kind of a cool concept, but I can't be the only one that thinks that CGI on those monsters was terrible. I also just want to add, those monsters were pretty damn useless. In the past few weeks of Doctor Who, the stories have been kind of lecturing fans, but this week was different, different good. Doctor Who dealt with the problem of mental health and they did it in such a subtle way that it was really nice and really well done. As someone who has dealt with serious mental health problems in the past, this episode was really great and really different and I thought that it was really well written. I liked that we got to see how Yaz became inspired to join the police. Um, again, this scene focused on mental health, which was good, uh, but it was also good because this scene gave Yaz a lot of really great character development. I also liked that Graham discussed his thoughts and feelings with the Doctor. This was such a gorgeous little moment uh, and it really helped develop the relationship between these two particular characters. Graham is my favourite so I loved this little moment at the end. The story was pretty good, although it seemed very rushed, so I think that this episode would have been a lot better if it was split out over two parts. So three things that I liked about this week's episode. I'm not going to lie, it was kind of hard to pick just three. Number one, the companions. I liked that we got to see a lot more character development for each companion. And like I said, that they got their own little story because it was great to see them individually, I think. Number two, Zeeland. I thought he was a really cool villain and he was brilliantly evil. And number three, Jodie. I felt that her doctor was really, really great. 
specifically in this episode because we got to see her working on her own without being surrounded by three companions. And three things I didn't like about this episode. I'm not gonna lie, there's only two. Number one, the story. This isn't exactly that I didn't like the story, because I did, it was quite good. Like I said, it was just rushed and would have been better if it was split over multiple parts. And number two, the monsters. Like I mentioned before, the CGI was really, really horrible and the monsters were pretty much useless. So my rating for this week's episode of Doctor Who is an eight out of 10. Like I said, I haven't enjoyed the past few weeks, but this episode was something different and it was great. I really enjoyed this episode. Next week's episode looks really cool. I love a good ghost story, so I'm very excited for next week's episode. Hopefully, the last few weeks of Doctor Who stay positive and are as good as this episode. So that is it for this week's episode of Who Review. Uh, what did you guys think of this week's episode? Let me know in the comments down below. But don't forget to come back to my channel this Friday for a main video where I'm going to take a look at some unanswered questions of the Hooniverse. But that is it for now. I'll see you guys soon with another episode of Who Review. Bye everyone.